We have Dario Lorenta from Black Label Society. Slings and Axe, which is that alongside Zach Wilde. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> we're asking a question to our guitar players this trip around okay. NAMM. If you were able to go back in time and hold a guitar, play a guitar, past or present, that represented rock history, an iconic, immortal moment, either by the music or the man playing it, which guitar would that be? There's a lot of options in there, and I'm sure everybody's said that. There are that. many options. And I'm sure everybody's given a different answer. I mean, as for the first one, I mean, as far as immortal and iconic, I mean, maybe the one Jimi Hendrix would set on fire the first time. Uh, that might be a cool guitar to hold. Uh, but I, I'd want to say Van Halen, like the first Frankenstein, because I loved, that was, he was my guy. So, but if I were to pick one, it would be the Hendrix guitar. Well, it, it, it's very much a personal decision because it's what inspires you to play guitar so that's usually point to what where what did I see that that's gonna live forever that's what I'm doing and that was the Van Halen guitar for yeah 100% yep yeah. I mean cuz that you know that was before my time but when I was a kid playing guitar and discovering that it was like it was like current magic whether whatever year it was so to me that was like that's all I could imagine playing wise or a dream to be so it would be the Frankenstein for sure see what immortality is too is something surviving beyond its years by the stories told by the people that were inspired the second third fourth generation of players like you 100% like picture yourself sitting there playing with Eddie's guitar right oh yeah I mean, and that, the music that, feeds that an he made, into you. the music that he made on that guitar is immortalized. Even when he's passed, we still get to hear those those strings through via the recordings yeah, and absolutely. the memories that flood our minds of where we were when we heard that song, yep. or the summer, or the season of that song. Totally. What songs or riffs specifically from off Eddie's guitar from that period? Uh, oh man, that like blew your well, mind. Well, well, I'll say. I mean, songs that really stuck with me were like Little Dreamer, I always loved. Uh, I mean, everything off of Van Halen 1, everything, the whole, Every all note. It, every note of Van Halen 1. Uh, Huff a Teacher, um, Me Wise Magic was, was really cool. Um, I just, I loved it all. But I mean, Little Dreamer sticking out to me off Van Halen 1. That whole, that whole thing in general, but. So which uh, guitar did he play on Little Dreamer? I don't know if I can tell you. Was it, was it Frankenstein? See, that's a good question. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we can it's find out. It's a mystery, out. so yeah. now we can go on we that journey find and find out. Yeah. How about a Dimebag story? Uh, I was never fortunate enough to meet him, uh, so I don't have, you know, a direct story. I mean, we've had a lot of mutual you know, friends, and I've heard many amazing stories about him, you know, over the years. So well, Zach, uh, Zach was very close with that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We uh, we just had visited his, uh, you know, his, uh, where they have a plaque for him down in Texas. Yeah. And uh, and with Vinny, so, you know, I, I knew Vinny because I live in Vegas, you know, so Vinny was there. Vinny was a fixture around Vegas. A big part of the scene, so. Yeah. You know, it'd always be parties at his house, or you'd see him at shows, and we'd end up back there or whatever. So, yeah, I know I knew Vinny. I could tell though from your accent, you're from Boston. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yep, yep. And I know uh, you're we play, a townie. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When we played, uh, I don't remember what festival it was, but Vinny was cooking. He had a whole setup out front of the bus, barbecuing, and uh, had Van Halen cranking. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Well, I grew up listening to Van Halen cranking around a bonfire in northern Alberta, Canada, where there was nothing to do except for go out and have bush bashes. That sounds and amazing. I wish days were still like that. Because, I wish so, too. Yeah. When we were 14, 15 years old, and our, our cars, would, you know, we'd open up the doors and blast Van Halen and, you know, Led Zeppelin and Fleetwood Mac from our cars. Yeah. And the speakers, you know, pull them out or... Uh, and the bonfire would be raging. I'm sure you had some rush going there, being a Canadian. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. We had a lot of limelight going yeah. on, yeah. for sure. So sad we lost yeah. Neil Peart. 
Absolutely. Thank you, Dario. Yeah, yeah thank you guys. Yeah, cheers. Tell Zach we said hi. Absolutely.